We're standing inside Font Hill Castle in Doylestown, the home of Henry Chapman Mercer. Mercer, he was born in 1856, grew up here, had the opportunity to go to Harvard, traveled extensively in Europe as a young man, worked as an archeologist for a time at the University of Pennsylvania, did digs in the Yucatan and other parts of North America. So he traveled extensively, and I like to think that his brain was on record in the latter part of the 1800s. When he finally came back to his family's estate in the latter part of the 1890s, he turned his eye away a little bit from archeology span and onto other things. He began collecting pre-industrial American hand tools. He got interested in ceramics in traditional Pennsylvania redware pottery. He eventually went into the tile making business producing arts and crafts era tiles and the second building he constructed was the Moravian Pottery and Tile Works between 1908 and 1912. It's just very close in proximity to his home Font Hill. And then because he was also collecting all of these hand tools beginning in 1897, just trying to document the way that people in the past, both in America and eventually in other parts of the world, lived their lives and solved problems of food and clothing and shelter. He was building that collection and that eventually found expression in what is today's Mercer Museum, the headquarters of the Bucks County Historical Society. So that building was constructed between 1913 and opened to the public in 1916. And all of these buildings are just incredible monuments to Mercer's imagination, to Mercer's creativity, and again, the timeless quest of humanity to meet their needs and their wants through material culture. At the Mercer Museum, you're surrounded by Everything it took to make America, a wagon suspended from the ceiling, a whale boat, a collection of cast iron stoves and stove plates, a collection of pottery and woodworking tools, horn and tortoise shell tools and products that were made of those substances. Here at Font Hill, tiles not only of Mercer's own making, but also tiles that he had collected from other places around the world, from China, from the Middle East, from Spain. And a lot of these are embedded into the walls of Font Hill. Mercer is very often thought of as kind of a Renaissance man. He was very artistic, but also very scientific. In terms of his significance, he began collecting sort of the everyday things that people were throwing out, but he was valuing them in the eyes of an archeologist because these were the things that were gonna tell the story of humanity in an earlier period. And then the other aspect of Mercer that I find interesting is that he was living in a time of great change. America was industrializing, modernizing, and he kept one foot firmly in the past, as some of us do to allow us to deal with change. So Font Hill is a little bit of a monument to that idea, combining the poetry of the past, as he said, with the convenience of the present. There's electric lighting, but it's a castle. It's a castle made out of concrete. And he's surrounding himself with reminders of the past wherever he can. So it's a good lesson in just how people can use their imagination and use their creativity to bridge the past and the present and deal with change. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.